Welcome back to the Wax Mode Detailing Channel, guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering a short water behavior test for the new Ethos Car Care Graphene Matrix Coating. And I'm super stoked because this is my first dip into the graphene portion of the coating world. And we're starting to see a couple graphene-based coatings hit the market that are available for everyone out there, for consumers, for enthusiasts. And I'm really excited to see how these coatings compare to some of my favorite silica-based coatings that I've worked with over the years. And I want to give a big shout out to Tim over at Ethos Car Care. He reached out to me and was willing to send me this bottle of the graphene matrix coating to play around with, to test out, to give you guys my honest feedback uh, and my review uh, and to show you guys its performance. And I'm loving what I'm seeing in the short term right here. This is my first initial rinse of this coating since I got it in. And this is two coats, all of the graphene matrix coating applied to this test hood. I applied the second coat one hour after the first coat. And then this first rinse is 48 hours since applying the second coat to the paint. And I'm absolutely addicted to this water behavior right here. This is insanely hydrophobic, awesome water beading, crazy fast water sheeting. Uh, and I love to see it. And in terms of hydrophobic performance, this coating is definitely towards the upper echelon of the coatings that I've worked with over the years. Uh, CarPro Secorts UK 3.0, Gion Synchro, uh, the Sonax CC36 coating, the CSL, the G-Technic CSL and XO combination. This is definitely competing extremely well, if not topping those coatings uh, with its hydrophobic performance when fresh. And so right here, I'm going to pull out the air blower for you guys to show you how easy it is to dry the water off the paint when it's this crazy hydrophobic. And when the beads have a high contact angle for that nice tight water beading uh, combined with a low sliding angle. So it doesn't take much force to actually push the water beads off the surface of the paint. That makes air blowing the car dry super easy. The gloss looks really good as well. It's going to have a nice glow to the coating. And I prepped this test hood using 3D1 hybrid compound and polish. I followed that up with Sonex's Perfect Finish. And then I used the Ethos Detox as a panel wipe to prep the paint before applying the coating. Uh, and as you guys can see with the walk around right here, uh, it's got a nice gloss to it and a nice glow. Definitely going to be competitive in gloss with other coatings on the market. In this clip here, I've got the Gilmore hose nozzle out. I'm gonna show you guys just how easily the water floods off the surface of the paint when I switch to the center flood setting on the nozzle. That's basically going to effectively dry the paint off using nothing but water. And so for those of you who aren't working with air blowers uh, and you're pulling out the drying towel, this is what you wanna do. You wanna flood the paint first to get the majority of the water off the surface. Uh, and that's gonna make drying the paint a lot easier and, and less time consuming. And this was also one of the more user-friendly coatings that I've worked with as well. It's not going to feel anywhere near quite as tacky to work with and buff into the paint and level off compared to, you know, one of my favorite coatings, the Secorts UK 3.0 coating. And it's going to feel a bit slicker after you give it that final wipe down and as the coating continues to cure. But definitely stay tuned to the channel for additional videos and tests that'll be coming up. And I've got this applied to the blue test Honda, which is a daily driver. It sits outside and is ungaraged. Uh, and I'll be able to give you guys durability updates for how this coating holds up. And for me, that's definitely going to be the true test of this coating's performance. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it does. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Leave me your feedback in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for more tests coming up. And I will see you guys in the next video.